Hello everyone, I'm Ezekiel Bruni, writer, tech nerd, and sometimes consultant, and I'm here today on behalf of Website Planet to ask three very important questions and answer them. Number one, is there such a thing as too much purple? Number two, why does my purple shirt look kind of blue in this lighting? And number three, how do you get a free restaurant website quickly and easily? Well, in order, yes, no idea, and I'm about to show you. Before I get into that, please do consider liking the video if you find it helpful and useful. And do consider subscribing to the channel because we have a lot of tips and tricks and tutorials already on the channel and a lot more coming up. If you want to see everything we do as it comes out, click that notification bell icon and leave us a comment if you have anything you feel like sharing with us. All right, now let's show you how to make that website. We like to use a website builder called Wix. Website builders help you get started fast and quickly with building websites, and we like Wix for several reasons. For one, it has a huge number of themes in general, over 500. It offers a ton of features, and there's lots of room to grow. With all those features and all the complexity that Wix does allow, you can actually grow your website from being just a basic one-pager for a small business up to a site for a good mid-sized business, I would say. Now, you should look down in the description at the end of this video because there is a link there to a full review of Wix, all of its features, everything it does. Today, we'll be focusing on how you get that restaurant website. So just sign up, you know, and uh, you can use your Google ID, your Facebook ID for that, or use your just your email. And you'll either be taken straight to the website creation wizard or this screen where you can see I already have some test websites here. So... I'm just going to create a new site. Now, Editor X is for advanced users who know how to code but just don't want to. Uh, everyone else will just want to pick the regular Wix editor. Then you need to decide what kind of website you want to make. So we're going to choose restaurant and that's going to help us build the website in the first place. Now, Wix ADI or is a tool that will actually automatically generate a website for you, including some sample content uh, based on a few questions you answer. It's a good tool. It's decent, especially if you want to get started in five to ten minutes, but it's not what we're going to do today. Today, I'm going to show you the fun stuff. All right, so we're picking a template. Now, we've got various options. I've decided I'm going to do a fried chicken restaurant. Ooh, look, there's one that already features chicken. So let's just pick that template right there. Now, Wix takes a minute to generate the site and load up the site editor. But once it's here, this is what you're looking at. It's a very simple system and I'll show you how it all works. So if you want to change text, you just double click on the text box and change your text. It's that simple. If you want to change how things are laid out, you can literally just click and drag pretty much anywhere on the page and undo things if you accidentally mess things up <laughs> or get things out of position. And that is all very simple. Uh, let's show you how to change your branding a little and to how to change images. Now that's uh, text right there, but we don't want text. We want an image. I have actually prepared one to get started with that. You can go down to media and choose to upload your media from, you know, your computer. You can get free images from Wix and Shutter and some paid ones from Shutterstock. I have already prepared some images, so I'm just going to use that upload a di uh, dialog and you can, you know, add images from any of these sources, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to add this awesome logo I made. <laughs> you might want something a little bit less generic to be fair. But we don't want the logo here, we want it up here. And so we'll, we're going to resize it a little, make it a bit smaller, then drag it up here, and... no, oh, it needs to be a bit smaller. You have to make things fit sometimes, but once they do, there we go. We've got a new logo in the header. Let's change the background here to one of the uh, photos I've chosen. One of the photos of fried chicken. And we're going to upload a few at a time. Now I think this will make a lovely background image, so we'll get that one. But you can't really see the text now, can you? So we're going to grab that. 
we're going to ch change the image opacity so that you get more of a background color. And let's make that color just a bit darker. There we go. That's good stuff. So now that's all looking pretty good. But what if you want to make the theme match your own branding a little more? Maybe this red or orange isn't quite right for you. Well, you go to the site design tab and you customize the theme. You can customize each of your colors specifically. So let's um, say you want something a bit more in a yellow because chicken franchises use yellow a lot. So let's get us a nice bright, let's slide it a bit more to orange. And there we go. You can quickly and easily change the colors of the whole template to match what you want to do. So that's the very basics. But what about making it do restaurant stuff? Well, we can go to the menu page, for example, and have a look at that. Now here is a basic menu setup. You can change the look and feel of the menu. You can add images to your menu items. You can do all kinds of things. The menu app, and it is a, an add-on made by Wix itself, is free. You can use it as much as you want. Let's change the design a little. Let's add some images. And there we go, the layout has changed. But the images aren't in there yet, so we're just going to go ahead and add some of those real quick. We'll go to the Manage Menus. We are now in the Menu Manager. You can actually have several menus and put a different ones on different pages. Let's add a couple of images to these, shall we? Let's see. Edit. Edit. And these... <laughs> that's not a chicken sandwich, but it's just to show you how the design will look. So that one's saved. Let's add another one. And you'll notice the images get sort of centered and cropped on their own, which looks fantastic. Exit that, wait for it to reload, and boom, you've got images to go with your menu. Now there's a page here called Order Online. We're just going to take a look at that real quick. Something you should know is that while you can set up ordering on your website, you cannot take orders and get paid for them uh, via the website unless you ha are on a paid Wix plan. So this is fantastic, right? You can manage your orders from here, although there aren't going to be any. And you can, cha you can change the look and feel of the ordering form, of course. You can change the layout, change the colors and uh, titles and all of that stuff. But that doesn't work for us. We're on the free plan, so we're just going to delete this page entirely. Bye-bye. And we're going to add a reservation form to the contact section, which is on all the pages. So this is the contact us bit. It has a contact form. This is free to use. You can just take messages, no problem, even on the free plan. But here we are going to add the reservations app. So I ch chose the plus button there, but it does. we have to go down to the apps. And let's search for res... Sorry, you didn't see that. Re Wix reservations. You can use it to reserve tables. It comes with a free plan. Again, you can't take payments on, uh, on the free plan, but there you go. We have a reservation form. And with just a little fiddling, I have a reservations form I kind of like the look of. Although some of those translations are automatic and you can't really do anything about that. Just to give you another quick look at the apps, I want to show you what your options are here. Uh, some of them are free, some of them are paid, some of them require a premium plan on Wix. But you can add loyalty and rewards programs. You can add e-commerce marketing tools. You can add stores, uh, forums, live chat. You can add all kinds of uh, analytics tools and marketing tools. It's just, you, there are tons of options. Let's take a look at the newest apps. Fancy web effects, SEO tools, Low inventory alerts for if, when you're running an online store. You've got lots of options. But now that we've got a main page, we've, and we've got a menu, and we've got a reservation form, let's publish this. To publish, all you need to do is click that button there. That button, sorry. And you can change the name of the site on the actual dashboard. So if we go back here, we can load this up. 
can rename it right here. We'll call it Chicken oh. Littles. Chicken Littles. And change the URL. All URLs for free plans are look like this. They'll have your username dot site dot com slash the name of your website. If you want a custom domain, that's another thing you need to pay for. Just keep that in mind. And we just click that URL. And boom. We have a mostly complete, except for some details and editing the rest of the content, website. Let's go back to the homepage here. And here is the reservation form I showed you. And I can leave myself a message. It all works just fine. Although I'd probably want to remove that button since I got rid of the ordering system. There, it's gone. So that's the basics of how to create a quick, easy, and free website for your restaurant. Again, there are features that won't be available to you if you're not paying for a premium plan. That's normal for pretty much all site builders. But you can start somewhere. You can start with a simple menu, a contact form, and a free reservation form. And that is quite a lot to start with. You have a lot of expenses when you're first building a restaurant, you know, you and you don't want to skimp on the staff and you don't want to skimp on the food or the sanitation. So starting with a free website is a great way to save some scratch while your restaurant gets off the ground. Now, I have a couple of tips for getting started. Um, if you want your website to take as little time as possible to create, have a plan for how you want it to work first and foremost. And have your content and that is all your text and all of your images ready beforehand. That speeds up the process so very much. Uh, technically, you could get a website up and running in as little as 10 minutes. Although it would be more normal for you to take at least an hour or so to get used to Wix and to build your first web pages with the layouts you want and all that stuff. There's a link to the full review about of Wix and everything it can do. So be sure to look at that. But also, there's a link to our coupon page that can get you a hefty discount on your first year of Wix or pretty much any other major site builder. And when you're just getting started, that's a pretty good deal. So when you're ready to upgrade, check the coupon page first, okay, so you, to make sure you get a discount. And again, if you found this video helpful and useful, please do consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell icon, leaving a comment. We would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. All right, this is Ezekiel Bruni signing out. I had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. See you all around.